Um, number 83 is in excess. Do what you do. You must have played in excess. KO has played a lot. You must have. This is probably one of your, like, back when you were a music director. Or, uh, like before a music director, but yeah, definitely played this band. Definitely played this band a lot and loved them. Uh, actually got them to come on with Mark and Brian uh, probably maybe about a year or so before uh, Michael passed away. So um, just love that band. I know uh, uh, Bob Coburn was a huge fan of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was great stuff. I remember Brian telling a story about, you know, Bob Coburn taking him to an in excess show and, and uh, Brian laughing about how funny Bob was dancing, you know, it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, a lot of white people don't dance. Good. <laughs> see, now doesn't it make you happy when you see people dancing? It, rather than judging them, it just, yeah. it makes me so happy to see people dancing. Yeah. Just expressing yeah. love of music. So what In Excess songs did, did you play? Uh, we played uh, KLOS when I first went to KLOS, we played them. So it would have been, I think, uh, What's it called this time? The third album mm. when yeah. they kind of like uh, broke through in America. So yeah, we played them out of the box at at, at KLOS eighty three ish, and then you know then they just blew up. And yeah, great great band. Yeah, this did, time is. Hmm. Did you meet Michael? Or what was your opinion of Michael Hutchins? I, I you loved him. Yeah, loved him. Loved the band. Uh, he was just a, a real sweetheart. He was um, he was very enigmatic, um, but uh, but a true soul. You know, it's like uh, nothing but but great thoughts for him. And I just feel horrible what happened to him. But you know, yeah. Um. But are you a music a movie fan did you watch did you go to any of these this is from this this song is from the soundtrack to pretty in pink i didn't see that but uh yeah i mean it was like a lot of times it was like at that time you know like working six maybe sometimes seven days a week you know just constantly you know trying to go to concerts having to work or having to get up early or going to movies, it just didn't, I just didn't have a lot of time. So a lot of that stuff I'm catching up on now, you know, like the, the movies from that time. But no, I haven't seen that. And that's, that's, that sounds like, man, I'm an old geezer. Um, hey, well, may we recommend to you the soundtrack for Pretty in Pink? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I, we did play Do What You Want or Do What I Do. What is it called? Hey, yeah, this song is called Do What You Do. Yeah. yeah. So we did play that. It was again one of those little, you know, maybe uh, five, ten songs rotation, not very high. But you know, played the shit out of uh, uh, New Sensation and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So I, I can't remember Holly. If you were which were you Team Ducky or Team Blaine? I can't remember what. Oh, Ducky. Oh, Ducky. Uh, Becky, you can ask me. Uh, my answer to you last time you asked me this question was uh, was it's different on any given day. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't make. I can't make a decision like that. But Ducky, I'm saying Ducky today. <laughs> all right. You were. You were. You were Ducky. I know you were. Yeah, of course, because that was. Because <laughs> you were Ducky. Yeah. One day you will see this this film, yep. you will and go. I'll know what you guys are talking about. And yeah, I'm like, going to send you this clip to remind you to watch the movie. Okay. Although I don't know how it how it holds up. I don't remember that. I think, well, 